Happy New Year, my friends. <laughs> it is Monday, January, I think, 4th for you. It's still 2020 for me. I'm living in a time warp. Um, and uh, But anyway, I wanted to get started. I think it's time for us to take this lovely piece of writing and, and, and put it on paper. So today I'm going to give you some special paper to start doing that with. But before you start banging out all these ideas in your head, I want to give you a little tip that I think is going to help you clarify what you mean so that you don't assume that we know what you mean. Um, so I'm going to start by saying that often when you write, I'm going to have you think of this remote control as a sentence. <laughs> and um, if, you, if you take that sentence, if I were to hold this remote control right now, if I were to let go of my thumb, it falls on the floor. And that's because I don't have anything that supports it. Sentences work the same way. If you have a sentence that you write and it doesn't really stand on its own, maybe you know what you mean, but don't assume your readers, especially <laughs> this one right here. <laughs> don't assume that we know what you mean because we, there's a very good chance that we're like, what? So you give it a partner sentence and then the sentence makes sense. So I'm gonna show you what I mean. So, um, you're probably thinking about your gymnastics and you're thinking about your beautiful um, puppies and your space and your Hanukkah and all the things that you want to write about. So if you were to write something, for example, like um, it is raining outside, you might include an opinion about that rain, a definition about that rain, an explanation about the rain or a comparison contrasting sort of sentence about that rain. Here's what I mean. It's raining outside. An opinion about that is, I really like the rain. A definition about that is, well, the National Weather Service has stated that we will see up to an inch of precipitation today. Um, an explanation of that might be, I walked to the store and I came home and I was drenched. <laughs> And a comparison and contrasting sort of um, approach to that might be, well, last week we didn't get any rain, so we needed it, we really needed it this week, okay? Partner sentences are sentences that the writer includes to accompany a sentence that you've already written. The sentence you write may need support for further explanation. Partner sentences might include opinions, definitions, explanations, and compare contrasting ideas, all right? So now I'm gonna show you what I mean with an example from my running piece. So I was looking back at this, my informational writing planning page, and I was thinking about my topic, my subtopic. I don't know what to wear, it's too hot, it's too cold. And I thought about this little addendum that I added. I don't know, I don't know if you remember from last week, but I was like, I didn't put rain gear on there and I kind of feel like I need it. And now I'm really thinking about how much I stress about running in the rain, like beyond, beyond any, my husband will say, just go. Why are you overthinking this? And like, but I'm going to get wet and it's 11 miles. And blah, blah, blah. If I had rain gear, I don't know that I would actually stress out about this as much. So when preparing to run, you might need rain gear is my sentence. I want to support that with my opinion. I really don't like being wet. So rain gear is really important to me. Maybe I'll include that. Or Maybe some stores such as Jack Rabbit and Runner's World sell windbreakers, waterproof hats, and even special sprays for your shoes to keep them and you dry. Rain gear may consist of any clothing that can prevent you from getting wet. Or an explanation. If you've ever been running in the pouring rain, you will know the right clothing can make all the difference. Or a comparing and contrasting idea. Last week, I ran in the rain and was cold after the first two miles. This week, I will not make that same mistake. Okay. So the idea of giving an opinion about your sentence, a definition about your sentence, an explanation about your sentence, or a comparing and contrasting idea about that sentence will prevent this from happening. When you start writing today, but I have so much to say, it's gonna take me forever. Yeah, mm -hmm. but look guys, it is what, January? You've been writing September, October, November, December, you got this. You're gonna take it one step at a time, one subtopic at a time, one page at a time, one paragraph at a time, one sentence at a time, one word at a time, one letter at a time. And you're gonna bang it out. 
And the next thing you know, it's going to be like two weeks from now, you're going to be like, oh my God, look at what I wrote. I'm so awful. Okay. <laughs> All right. So you're going to start with the special paper that I give you. It's going to be on the drive. I don't have it there yet, but it will be. It'll be on your screen, um, your slides. You're going to print it out or I will give it to you if you're in school and you're going to start writing and you're going to think about when I write, does this need a partner sentence? Does this stand on its own? And get to it. Okay. Happy writing.